Hello everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial. For this week's hobby base card, I've got this really elegant Christmas bauble card. I've got some embossing there with the background. It's got a lot of dimension to it. This is all on foam. So is this white piece. You've got the texture from the ribbon. And then there's also these little, lovely little faceted flat back gems there just to kind of add something to the baubles. You could obviously colour these in if you wanted to but I just wanted to stick with the blue, white and silver. I just think that looks really nice together and I've also stamped on my envelope as well. Just I think it just again makes it all look quite special. So this stamp set I'm using today is the Gemini. Um, it's the Gemini collection and it's called Baubles. <laughs> I knew I'd seen it somewhere, it's right there, just baubles, there we go. But the good thing about this is you can have it as an edger, so it can be right on the edge of your card. So that's one way of doing it, but also you can cut it right out like this and, um, and obviously have it just as a die cut, a stamped die cut, which is what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to take that one off because we're going to need that in a minute and then we'll die cut all of those bits in a second. Let's just pop that one to one side and this is everything you're going to need. So again, this one is a 6x6 card base. If you don't already have a pre-made 6x6, you just need a piece of 12x6 and along the 12 inch side score at 6. Okay, and then the piece inside, you just want a white piece that's 5 and 3 quarters squared. And then just stamp your image and that will give you your card. This is going to be a top folding card as well. Okay, then I have got my silver mirrored card. So this is this piece here, you can just see the frame. That will need to be five and three quarters by five and three quarters squared. And that's gonna go just nicely on top. And then this piece here is five and a half by five and a half squared. And that will go on top. So you can see there you got your nice borders. Okay, so, and then those bits, so I don't actually need the scoreboard at all. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, so I already went ahead and done a lot, lot of bits because you don't need to see me do all of this. I want to show you that how that stamps and um, how I'm going to fussy cut around it as well to add another piece to it. But I just wanted to show you, there you go, you can see it's like a knitted jumper texture. Really, really nice. And so, yeah, any kind of appropriate embossing, embossed background would look really nice with that one there. So what I want to do first of all is stamp my image. So I'm just going to bring in my platform here because I want to make sure that I get a really good impression. I've got a piece of white cardstock here and pop my magnets down. Take that one off and just pop it anywhere because it's all going to be cut so it doesn't matter too much. Pick that up and then I've just got a grey ink pad stamp that a couple times. Actually I've got a good, good impression first time so I'll just go over it again for good measure. So I'm get it a little bit darker. There we go, perfect. So pretty, they really they really are the nice little nice little images. Okay, so let's just remove that one. And then I'm just going to bring in my cutting plates here because I'm going to do this all here and then I can just cut it off camera. But I just want to get this one in place and I'll stick it with some washi tape in a minute. But get the two frames. So there's that one and that one. And so that one is, you just have to, it shows you in the picture the shapes, but that one is going to go around that side. Making sure you want to get an even white kind of frame, like so. I'm going to stick that down because once I start playing around with the other one it's probably going to move a bit so about right. And always put your washi tape away from your image because the last thing you want is to rip your stamped image when you run it through its machine. And then this one. Join up but you do have to snip it once it cuts through. There might be a little bit that's still attached but they just will go, you can see there they go perfectly together making a whole die cut and giving you that same equal white border like so okay so I'm just going to get that cut okay so then I can just very carefully so it's cut everything out but there's just a tiny little bit at the very top there so just with my snips I'm just going to take that off and then you can just tidy that up and also I'm going to be covering that top bit I mean it's it's perfect now anyway so it, it wouldn't matter but um 
yeah and then you get your die cut image so next we can start assembling everything so it's all pretty straightforward like I said I want to make sure that this is top folding which it is so first of all I'm going to stick this one down first okay so that's that one stuck down then with this piece I've already gone ahead and put some foam adhesive so you can see there I've just got my strips on the back but what I want to do first of all is I'm just going to take off the outer strips and then I've got just hold it in the middle I've got this really pretty ribbon which I'm going to have along the top and then I want this to be hanging down so I'm just going to kind of sit it on top so I know roughly I want the ribbon to be there and then this is going to cover the top like so but we're also going to frame this against this here and I'm going to fussy cut that piece but this bit here you just want to make sure so I'm going to bring it along a bit and then just fold it around so it just sticks to that foam underneath just basically just tacking it and then I can just trim a bit there and keeping it nice and straight again just fold that bit around doesn't matter that this is all loose because this is going to stick on top and once that bit sticks down you know you don't need to worry about that but now I've got this lovely to bring that up a little bit there we go really sparkly piece okay so now we can stick that down and I'm going to just add some wet glue over the top of that fabric ribbon and then just take off the other backing make sure again your cards opening the right way and then just sit that down over the top with that nice same border you can see all that lovely texture there we go that's better really nice next I'm going to fussy cut this so I'm going to use some of my red tape because um, this is the the card I've got here just use wet glue if you've got normal cardstock but my one here that I've got it's got a slightly shiny surface and um, I'm just you know I'd hate for the wet glue that I would usually use to you know not stick to it very well and it end up falling off so I'm just going to tack it you can see there just with the two strips but this is very strong so I know it won't go anywhere stick that down there we go I knew I cut it just right and then with my scissors here I'm just going to go around and just it's about one eighth of an inch little border but because this is quite an easy image to fussy cut that's why I didn't mind doing it but I just wanted to frame it I just thought it, it kind of was a bit lost on its own just on that white cardstock okay and then the top bit there you can just actually cut you don't need to have a border around it because you're not going to see any of that okay so now look when I sit that on there it just pops so much more off of that card and then that piece that bow there is going to conceal it now I need to take a little bit off I'm going to kind of round around the corners there just whatever will work for you so that the bow there completely covers it up then I need some more foam adhesive because the ribbon that it's sitting on there is quite thick so I just need to kind of level it off a little bit okay so again it's entirely up to you you might want to have it in the middle but I'm going to have mine the same as before like so and then I've got my hot glue gun on. I'm just going to pop a little bead of hot glue because it's always good to use hot glue when you're using fabric. And just lift that up. Yeah, that's perfect. Like so. I've already done my little sentiment here, merry and bright, which is the same as what I used before, just from my stash. And again, it's on some foam adhesive and that is going to go down the bottom here. Make sure you get an try and keep whatever the spacing is here again with your mats and your layers have that the same as the space that you have between the the right and the bottom here and it will just kind of st you know just keep everything together so that's that piece there and then I just need some of my sequins or my sequins my faceted little stones here so it's got my my pokey tool and grab a smaller one and that one's going to go there and it's just by adding these little kind of details it really does make a difference I've got a bigger one down there and i'll do another small one just there there we go let's just bring that up to show you 
it's just a really elegant, shiny, textured Christmas card. And then the inside there, and I love that. I think that's just, it's gorgeous. And there's the blue one again, just to show you how they look. So very, very different. All focused around that really lovely stamp, which I'm gonna be using again. So you'll see some more ideas with me, from me with that one. But um, yeah, there you go. So, and obviously you can stamp the envelope as well which is a six by six envelope in this case, but obviously whatever size you're using, I think that looks really nice as well. So as always, hope you've enjoyed this week's hobby base card and I'll be back again next week. Thanks for watching, bye.